Love one another, as I have loved you. So you must love each other. Love bears up under anything and everything that comes. I love you fervently and devotedly, O Lord, my strength. God is love. Never be moved. By smiles for Jesus. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is springs from God, and he who loves his fellow men is begotten born of God and is coming progressively to know and understand God to perceive and recognize and get a better and clearer knowledge of him. No man has at any time yet seen God. But if we love one another, God abides lives and remains in us and his love that love which is essentially his is brought to completion to its full maturity, runs its full course, is perfected in us. And we know understand, recognize, are conscious of, by observation and by experience and believe it here to and put faith in and rely on the love God cherishes for us. God is love, and he who dwells and continues in love dwells and continues in God, and God dwells and continues in him. She went and reported it to those who had been with him, as they grieved and wept. Upon this, Peter and the other disciple came out and they went toward the tomb. Nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Who shall ever separate us from Christ's love? Shall suffering and affliction and tribulation? Or calamity and distress? or persecution or hunger or destitution or peril or sword. And above all these put on love and enfold yourselves with the bond of perfectness which binds everything together completely in ideal harmony. Let your love be sincere a real thing, hate what is evil loathe all ungodliness, turn in horror from wickedness, but hold fast to that which is good. Little children, let us not love merely in theory or in speech but in deed and in truth in practice and in sincerity. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit the work which his presence within accomplishes is love, joy gladness, peace, patience and even temper, forbearance, kindness, goodness benevolence, faithfulness, no one has greater love no one has shown stronger affection than to lay down give up his own life for his friends. When they had eaten, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do with reasoning, intentional? spiritual devotion, as one loves the Father. He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you that I have deep, instinctive, personal affection for you, as for a close friend. He said to him, Feed my lambs. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed to him but a few days because of the love he had for her. But if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go free, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind and heart and with your entire being and with all your might. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the stranger or temporary resident and gives him food and clothing. But if the servant says to you, I will not go away from you, because he loves you and your household, since he does well with you, and Jonathan caused David to swear again by his love for him, for Jonathan loved him as he loved his own life. Then Hiram king of Tyre replied in writing sent to Solomon, Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you king over them. O Lord God, turn not away the face of me your anointed one, earnestly remember your good deeds, mercy, and steadfast love for David your servant. The Lord tests and proves the unyieldingly righteous, but his soul abhors the wicked and him who loves violence. For the Lord is rigidly righteous, he loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face, for he beholds the upright. For the king trusts, relies on, and is confident in the Lord, and through the mercy and steadfast love of the Most High he will never be moved.